Hi everyone, I'm Bonnie Krebs from Art Impressions here at scrapbook.com and I am going to show you our new watercolor releases. So we have five new sets and I'm going to show you how to put together this one that has all these little shoes on it. So I would say they're all my favorite, but I love, love, love this set. And I love it because it's really, really simple to use. So those of you who are familiar with watercolor stamping and specifically the Art Impressions way, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna be able to add this to your collection because it's gonna go with everything everything that you already have. So uh, those of you who are new to it, maybe you've never seen this technique before, watercolor stamping is so easy and fun to do and that's what I'm gonna show you. So you can pick up right in the middle, you can do this project, it's super, super simple. So let's get going. So in addition to the shoe set, uh, which is one of our brand new ones, and by the way, I'm gonna do this one in here, this one right here, we're also gonna need a couple of other things. So from the flower set, the original flower set, we're gonna use this little filler flower here, and then in the foliage set four, we're gonna use one of these two little vines and one of these two. So it doesn't matter, either one you can use with this project. And that's really all it's gonna take. Okay, so let's get going. We're gonna start out by stamping that basic image and that is the shoe. So I'm gonna ink it in two colors because I want a three dimensional color. And I'm gonna start out with a dark blue and a brown. So these are really important colors. These are Tombos, a 969 and a 565. So basically a dark blue and a dark brown. And what that's going to do is give us a um, more of an antique look. So I'm gonna start out with the dark brown and I'm just gonna use the side of my brush and I'm just gonna ink up my whole stamp. And then I'm gonna go back over it again with the dark blue. So just like this. And then I'm just going to just stamp that off because I don't want it too dark. So I'm gonna use a scrap piece of paper here and I'm just gonna stamp it off one time. And now I'm going to stamp it now onto my watercolor paper. And by the way, uh, you must use watercolor paper with this technique, so cardstock won't work. So make sure that you're using good quality watercolor paper. So once that's done now, I've stamped it on my watercolor paper, I'm gonna take my brush and just dip it into the water, just like this. And now I'm going to pinch it off so it's almost flat. And just gradually now, next to the line, pull the color out. And you can see how that's sort of lifting this side of the shoe up and that's exactly what we want because this flap is kind of coming over the shoe and we want to show that that's kind of lifted up. Now back over here on the side, we're going to pull some of this color out and you can see this is sort of a rounded area right here. So we want to see a highlight in there. So just drag this color and this is all from the stamp. So this is all from that marker and I'm just using water to pull this color up. And see the top of the shoe, the tip? We want to see a little highlight there and just keep pulling this color over. And you can see my brush is pretty dry. I don't have a ton of water on it. And always pinch it off. That's really, really important to do is always pinch that off. Now these little buttons, I'm gonna just come down underneath here like this, just like this. And then over to this side, I'm gonna drag that color over now from this side of the shoe. And because it's rounded, this is a contour, we wanna make sure that the center is the lightest area. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we can add some color to this. So this is the way that it always starts. We always start with these basic colors, stamp it in this, this uh, mix of brown and blue, and then come back in and add color. So now I'm going to add some color now to the shoe. And I just picked a light blue. This is actually number 526. And then a purple, bright purple. I love bright colors. And this is number 636. So I've just put that on my palette and I'm gonna dip my brush in water, pinch it off, and take a little bit of this color. So just a tiny, tiny bit. And I'm going to apply the color the same way that I pulled it out of the lines. So from the darkest area to the lightest and a little bit at a time. So just drag that color over, make sure you're showing that highlight here, just like this, and then do it again. Just keep bringing this color over and you can make this shoe as dark as you want, just by pulling that color over from where it's darkest to where it's lightest. So now let's take some of this other color, so the blue, and we're gonna do that the same way 
we're going to go from where it's the darkest and that's on the side and underneath the shoe right in here. And every time I dip my brush, I'm pinching it off. I don't want to get too much water. I want to see the highlight on top of the boot and at the heel. And then I want to see it lighter in the center of the shoe. And you can see it's starting to look like a little watercolor painting. And then I'm going to take my fine tip now. This is that purple that I used. And I'm just going to make a little line underneath the little buttons. And I left a highlight on there. That's also really, really important because these are contours too. So they're rounded. And so we want to see that highlight on there. And actually, I'm going to make this really dark here where the boot, where the heel is. And that's really all we have to do with the boot. Let's go ahead now and add our foliage and flowers to this. So we're going to start out with a little vine. And I'm going to ink this up. And just stamp this about three or four times outside of the boot. So just like this. And then maybe one more just off the side. Just like that. So the key to this is that you're stamping it over and over again. We want to see that dark to light impression. And now when I dip my brush in water, so again, I'm pinching it off and I'm just touching all these little lines. So basically just softening what I've just stamped. You can take a little of this light color now, this blue, and create some background. Just a little bit of it. And let's go ahead and put some flowers in now. So this is just a little filler flower, so a little daisy. And I'm just going to ink this up now with the purple. And stamp this again multiple times. So one, two, three, four, five. I want to stamp that a bunch of times. One, two, three, four, five. I'm kind of stamping it in a little circle. And again, dip my brush in water, pinch it off, and then dab. Just dab, soften all the lines. And let's add some more things in here. So let's add another little vine. I'm gonna use my blue again. So you can see all these little elements, they work together. And so when you're buying these sets, you're buying it as a collection because you can use them with what you already have and create just an endless um, amount of projects that are all just a little bit different. And with these, uh, I wouldn't add any water to that. You don't need to. This is more of an accent piece. And so it's, it's just perfectly fine the way that it is. I'm going to add one more long stem flower in here. And I'm just adding color to the bloom. And then green to the stem. And just stamping this in here just a few times. And I think I'll just do that one more. So again, two colors, so green on the stem. And actually, we can just add one to the bottom, right on the bottom, just like this. And with these long stems, sort of like the accents, you don't want to add any color to the stem. You just want to add a little water to the bloom, just like that. So let's get to the shadow. So we want to do a couple more steps. And we want to take some of this dark blue now and that I'm adding to my palette. So this is the dark blue that I started with. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this, just a little tiny bit. And I'm just going to make a line under that shoe and sort of connect the heel to the toe. And you can see how that will just lift that toe up off the ground. Just like that. And the same thing now with these little flowers. Just a little line here underneath. One last thing to do, always sign and date your work. Always do that. Every time you do these projects are gonna be a little bit different and it is an original. So what I've done now is I've taken my little, um, my little watercolor painting and I used my hexagon double stitch dies and cut out my little project with a really pretty background uh, paper and put this together on a card. You can also 
put this in a little frame and give it away. People love this and they love that it's original and one of a kind. And that's why it's so important to sign. Sign your work and put it in a frame or put it in a card and give it away to someone because you're just gonna make their day. And this, these are so great for any occasion. And you know, when you're doing these little watercolor projects, they don't need a lot. You can keep them really, really simple. Uh, just put it on a card and call it good. Uh, these are all available now at scrapbook.com. So go ahead and get it and try it. You're gonna love it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.